Sitar Danziger was born in Jazjan province in the northern part of Afghanistan and got polio in 1985 when he was two years old. He hadn't been immunised. At 10, he was abandoned in an orphanage where he was subjected to cruelty and neglect because of his disability. He was lucky. When he was 13 years old, he was adopted by the photojournalist Nick Danziger and was flown out of Afghanistan. He spent his teenage years in Europe, had a number of operations, and is now back in Kabul and president of a successful construction company. Others are not so lucky. Having a major disability in a developing country usually means facing a life of poverty. And polio is preventable. Afghanistan has an active polio vaccination programme and campaign. The Ministry of Public Health in Afghanistan claims that it has polio vaccination coverage rates of 95%. However, this figure cannot be verified and appears to be optimistic. There are a number of areas in the country that cannot be accessed or monitored because of security or the geographical terrain. The main threat to Afghanistan's ability to eradicate polio is currently coming from Pakistan, where vaccination coverage rates are low and there are outbreaks of polio. Dr Gulakhan works for the Ministry of Public Health supporting the National Polio Programme in Afghanistan. In the year 2014, we have only four cases and they are reported from only one region. But still, in the border, neighbor country of Pakistan, we have a problem because our borders are open and uh, there are movement of people. So people are bringing uh, still uh, polio from that side. All polio confirmed cases, they are originated from our neighbor country, Pakistan. Responding to this challenge, the Ministry of Public Health has put in place special measures on their border with Pakistan. We have 14 uh, check posts in the uh, Afghanistan side. Uh, so in each check post, uh, we are administrating polio vaccine to children who are uh, crossing the border. So in uh, almost one day, we are administrating uh, around 2,000 children under five. We are administrating polio to them. And uh, regularly we have cross-border meetings, sometimes take place in uh, Pakistan, and sometimes Pakistani sides are coming to Afghanistan. Big challenges remain for Afghanistan in tackling polio. And given the problems in Pakistan, with low vaccination coverage rates for polio and the current outbreaks, it is unlikely that this country will be in a position to eradicate polio in the near future.